I'll have to take a S S D T test, right? No. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. S S D T S D T S T D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, like, man. Like like Tiki Taki <laughs> and uh, <laughs> S D T. What the sexually diseased transmission? Where, where are you going? You was dyslexic when you were young, weren't you, motherfucker? I was not. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey In Uncensored. My name is Eddie Lopez, and I'm going to be the host of this debauchery. Today, we are doing something a little different. While we're recording audio, we have also included video. So we're going to take this to the next level and see how it goes. Today, I have my buddy, Danny Williams, back in the building. Yay, yeah, yeah. Mr. Williams. And while he is here, we are drinking, well, at least I am drinking on the Blade and Bow. Bo. God, I got, I'll get that right eventually. But uh, it is the drink of choice today. But Mr. Williams, Mr. Williams, what are you on over there? Well, right now I'm on the uh, some uh, Michelob Ultra and a, uh, I'm not sure, some kind of tequila, I believe, I picked up. Did you mix it? No, a different glass, as you can see. Okay. I was well. So you don't know what you got then? <coughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Pretty good though. Don't don't, don't die on me for no. this recording right now. <laughs> I won't die uh, for good. the first time we're putting on video. You're gonna <laughs> die on my video. That's not gonna be good though. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. Uh, we can't use that for any type of alibis. What happened? I don't know. Okay. He was drinking. He already died. I don't have some <laughs> What was I drinking? It sucks. <laughs> Obviously, it's just us two in here today, so we have no structure. We're just going to be shooting yeah, shit. Winging it. And we're going to be winging it. It is what it is. So, uh, how was your Fourth of July, though? Like, it was pretty good, bro. No, we, uh, no crazy stories? No. Uh, we went to a, a, a buddy's house and uh, had a good time. And we had a... Went to the pool... No limbs were lost or anything like that? No, no. Surprisingly, we, we, no, we did nobody, not. Nobody got shot in the ass with a Roman candle? No. Did y'all even have Roman candles? They don't even make those anymore. They don't? I, I don't think no, that's, that's bullshit. They still make those somewhere. Uh, no, not here in Florida. They don't. Okay. You have to go to like uh, Georgia or Tennessee or Kansas or uh, South uh, Car- uh, Carolina to get those Roman candles. So they don't make them here anymore. Huh. But we had a good time. We had a good time. We uh, went to a uh, one house down the road from my house. I so said, you got down the road? Like, who's down the road? <laughs> well, I'll say down, down the road. I'm not going to say his name, but nice okay. house. Very nice house. Oh, this is your big baller friend. Yeah. Okay. It was good, good times. Good times. We all, we all need some friends with big baller statuses. That way we can actually go and party on their property and yeah. yeah the house is uh how can i put this the the driveway i'm sorry is big as my house <laughs> bigger than my house so but it is what it is i mean he i guess joined the got into the right game i guess or yeah do we what kind of mafia is he in it's funny you say that <laughs> he's a, which i didn't know he's a trash man which i know this Trash man. Oh, so we're talking sanitation, like the the mafia sanitation, basically. And someone told me this the other day, I mean, like that's what it is. I I, not, I had no idea about the trash stuff about being mafia related. I have no idea about that at all. Apparently, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's 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 how the mafia was able to laundry a lot of stuff and and do a lot of business was under the sanitation. And then, and then of course, when they took out people. And, and, and whack people and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Trash. That's the thing. Really? The, yeah, hell yeah. How you know this? I'm just saying, I I watch a lot of mafia movies. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, it, it is what it is. It used to be one, this one of my favorite type of movies, man. You get into that stuff? Oh, yeah. I did not know this. I did not know this. Yeah. You need, a, you need to go back and watch some good old mafia movies. Well, go I'm back not. and watch Goodfellas and, you know, even go watch The Sopranos. The Sopranos will actually... Uh, 
take care of a lot of those questions for you. Now, the I'm sorry for the audience, but you'll probably be disappointed. I have never seen Goodfellas. Oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry. I have not. It's a classic, man. My bad. It's a, it's a, it definitely is a classic. You, uh, you're you missing out. Actually, no, uh, I don't know if I can give you my login information for a video. I'd be able to hook you up. It's a great movie. You got to watch it. I mean, you probably can find it on Netflix anyways. Yeah. I mean, especially with Ray Liotta's passing and stuff. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're doing, you know, all kind of movies, movies with Ray Liotta and other stuff. Yeah. Well, if that's the case, then most people on this show, if you listen to it, oh, there's plenty of people listen to it. Just, never, that's why we're going to the video right now. You have never seen. You, you have not seen uh, the Last Dragon. Barry Gordy's. Who hasn't seen the Last Dragon? I'm. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm I, I want to know who hasn't seen the. I mean, maybe this newer generation hasn't seen the Last Dragon. I, I own it on on DVD, and I may watch it tonight. Actually, when I get home. Leroy. Bruce Leroy. Speaking of uh speaking of movies, what do you what do you know about porn? I mean, I know we've had plenty of porn conversations. Do you know any shockingly porn facts? Porn facts? Oh, porn man. facts. Like factual wow. things about porn that you probably or most people probably don't know. What do you know? What do you know uh, that's factual? Factual? Uh they penetrate. <laughs> well, that's factual, <laughs> right? Is that true? I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's not Playboy. I mean, it's all fakers. So it's not that softcore porn type deal. But yes, I mean, there's penetration in porn. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, they all have to take a S S D T test, right? Stop. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. S S D T S D T S T D. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That. Come on, like, man. Like, like ticket talking <laughs> and uh, <laughs> SDT. What the f- sexually diseased transmission? Where, where are you going? You was dyslexic when you were young, weren't you, motherfucker? I was not. I said that for SDT, STD, STD. Apparently, you ain't never been tested then. <laughs> exactly. I'll have one, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you don't know you got one. I mean, there's, there's a uh, some STD in somebody. Everyone's got some kind of form of STD somewhere. Who told you this? It's it's medical facts. We have STDs in us, and it just depends on what you awaken. Depends on what kind of funky shit you get into. You awaken some STD. Okay, Doctor Lopez, that's cool. I'm. Just, it's it's a, it's a true fact. So, so if you're listening to this episode, please let me know if that's true, because I, I don't believe uh, Mister Lopez right. <laughs> Dr. Lopez. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Lopez. MD. So, Esquire. so anyways, like I was getting ready to say, we actually do have some interesting facts here that uh going through on porn. Really? Yeah. Did you actually know that there's a new porn movie made every 39 minutes? Are you serious? Yeah. So, as we're talking here, within within this our broadcast, or however long this goes, we could have at least two porn movies being made at this moment. You mean like a production site? T- uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Production wow. movies, no home videos or nothing like that. No, it's production. It's, well, I mean, like home home videos are considered porn, so I mean, could be. Uh, but there's definitely movies every thirty nine minutes. Okay, it's a big industry, though. So, are you making a porn tonight? Well, I'm not making a porn tonight. I'm here by myself. Okay. No, not with me. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Because, yeah. matter of fact, you've got some fanboys from prior episodes already <laughs> reaching out. They've heard a few episodes <laughs> and they are into they, Oh, and they wanted to pass a message on Happy Pride Month, even though it's passed. But, thank you. You know, it was, uh, it was a message I was supposed to deliver to you to give you a happy belated Pride Month. Really? Okay. That's kind of weird. Yeah, you got some fans. I'm That's telling cool. you, a couple cool. episodes ago when you've discussed a few things, you've uh you sparked some interest in the LGBTQ elemental P community. It's all good. Um, but I am happy married. <laughs> um, if the price is right, then we can have uh, uh, there you go. See, and, and this is why that they have really <laughs> sparked interest in you because the way you bring things out. Yeah. Or bring good. things up. That's good. I appreciate it. 
appreciate it. You got fans. You got fans. It might not be in the right community that you want, but you got fans. It is what it is, homie. <laughs> I love them all. Everybody all. So check this out. According to this, this list of porn facts is women like to watch lesbian porn more than straight porn. Can you actually? Why, I, is, that? Why is that? I can actually believe that. I mean, a lot of, well, think about it. That women like to pleasure each other, right? I mean, yeah. women know how they want to be pleasured. So if they watch another woman pleasuring somebody else, they're going to get turned on because women know what women want. So I can, I can believe that, you know, I definitely could believe that. Uh, I guess I could too. I mean, it just depends on the situation. If, uh, I mean, if that's the case. The word lesbian is the top viewed category for Pornhub's female viewers. Shocker. So girl on girl for the girls to see the porn. I guess I guess that's fine. I don't know. That, that's weird. Me. Do you watch lesbian porn? No. You don't watch lesbian porn? No. B- because you it don't do nothing for you. No, because you you're going back to the same situation we had before, or we discussed before. I think we had similar conversations. Yeah, as far as the lesbian porn, that doesn't really do the nothing to me. Depends on if you are having two girls with you at the same time, so a threesome, basically, right? Yeah, that's what I'm getting to. So if it's not a threesome, then what's what's the point of watching lesbian porn? Well, if you don't have a threesome, you can fantasize, I guess, about having the two girls in the room. But so whatever. All right. So the next item, which is interesting, is that according to the watch times, the couple states with the longest watch times in porn, Mississippi. We need to talk to Clint about this. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably him. He's Most probably time. accumulated a lot of these times, but yeah, Mississippi. Of 11 minutes and 47 seconds. Hawaii's number two at 11 minutes and 36 seconds. Arkansas, Rhode Island, Vermont, and New Hampshire, right around 10 minutes. How much porn, what, how, when you actually get onto a porn site, how much porn are you actually watching? Probably around six minutes, maybe. Is that how well, long it well, takes you to get well, off? Is six I'll minutes? back up. I'll back up. Depends on what kind of porn I'm watching. If it's like a, you know, Kinky shit. Traditional porn. You know, a guy traditional girl. porn. Just traditional male and porn. female, doggy female. style type yeah. shit. Yeah. No, nothing kinky, just nothing crazy. Okay. You know. Uh, but if you're talking about maybe now I'm going back to something I just said a minute ago. Girl, girl porn with so now you're gonna get off a little bit faster after you just said you didn't do nothing for you? Yeah, toys and <laughs> things of that nature. Might be a little longer. Depends on depends on the chicks and it depends on the race, unfortunately. You know, that's my opinion. Okay. You know, because that 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 does matter to some people as far as in ten minutes. That's a that that's a lot of time to be on a porn site, actually. I mean not I, really to not, me. Well, no. you know what? Let me take that back. Let me take that back. I guess browsing when you're trying to find something to actually watch, I guess that takes more time because it seems like when you start browsing, like, oh, I already seen this, I already seen this. Like you've watched pretty much every right. video on the internet already, it right. seems like, right? So it, I think that would take me the 10 minutes just to find something that, oh, this sparks my interest. So what, is, is it counting the, the search time or the... Uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't go into that detail. It just says the watch time. So let's let's just go and say physically watching the actual yeah. video, So it, which is interesting. So like I said, it could take me that time because like I said, I guess I've watched so many of the videos of different sites. Like, ah, I've seen this one. And, I, and maybe it's because I go back to the same shit I kind of get into, you know? Exactly. So I was like, all right, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. I've seen this one. Let's let's let, let's move on to something else for me because this ain't doing it for me. Exactly. But yeah, 10 minutes though. So that's that's not long, really. I, I'm assuming that's from watching to ejaculation time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's the, let's, let's put the timer on. Maybe maybe I'll have to get put the stopwatch on when this shit comes out. When I watch porn again, like all right, I'm gonna start the timer here. I found something I want, but the problem is the videos that I do find they're not ten minutes long. They're usually three four minute clips because unless you're going behind the paywall, it's 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 definitely yeah, that's true. Not um, now if you're paying for it, you get a whole hour. You get a whole whole video. Oh. I've I've never paid for it, so I don't know exactly what's behind the paywall. I got to assume they're longer videos. You get the yeah. full length. It's like you're not getting just the, the clips here and there. But to me, the clips work fine for me. I can get done what I need to get. If not, just go to the next one. Three minutes here, three minutes here. You're good. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. How many hits do you think websites actually get? If far as away. What daily. do you think they get on a daily hit? Or maybe let's you know what, let's go. Uh, hourly. What, what's your hourly. guess? Hourly. How many hits on a web on, on a website? A oh, porn website. Yeah. A bunch of freaks in America. This is gonna blow your mind. Freaky. Hits. Hits, meaning basically, mm, I'm thinking here. Somebody going to the actual website, clicking on Pornhub, you know, XXN or XN, XXX or whatever those sites are. I would say daily. I may be high. I'll say not high as, as far as the book and lead, but <laughs> uh, 1.5 million. So, you know what? That's actually pretty fucking close. Okay. But but <laughs> the number is close. But the time frame is off. You said 1.5 million, and you said daily, right? Yeah. Average is 1.6 million an hour. Wow, that was a good guess. Yeah, you were very fucking close. That's but one, yeah. instead of daily, it's per hour. So per hour. okay, that's a lot of fuck. So 14 billion hits a year on websites. So as taboo as sex is in this fucking country, which I'm not sure why it, it is very taboo. You know, a lot of people don't like talking about it. You know, a lot of people, it, they just feel like it, it's just the the upbringing from the prior generations, the ancestors and stuff. They never really talked about it. But now it, it is becoming very, you know, open more with a lot of, you know, people and couples and relationships. It's actually being discussed more. But. For the fact that there is a 14 billion hits a year wow. in porn, that's fucking crazy. And, and, and I wonder how much of those are at people's jobs. Like how many people are searching <laughs> porn at work when they're bored? It happens a lot. And we don't know about it, but it happens a lot. I'm sure it does. Because... Oh, 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 oh. how ironic. <laughs> I, me bringing up about the work thing, it, one of the stats is that one in five men or 20% admit to watching porn at work. Wow. And, and 13% of women watch porn at work. That's pretty high. So <laughs> there's, your, there's your numbers right here. So take 20% of the 18 billion hits and there's your how many people are actually watching it from work. That's crazy. I mean, <laughs> and now. You dirty motherfuckers, you. Now, since the pandemic happened, there's more probably it's higher than that. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, think about it. You don't have to use it on your work computer anymore. You can actually have your exactly. your personal uh, computer right beside you, maybe in the middle while, of while you're working. Maybe yeah. in the middle of a conference call or something. You got porn inside. As long as you got mute, then you can, you know, Do have it. your meeting in porn too, I guess. <laughs> Which I told you this, this earlier. I did not know about VR porn. I just found out about this like, right. today. And uh, it seems pretty freaking awesome from what I've heard about. So would you be into the VR? I mean, is there any sensation to VR porn, do you think? Do you think that there's something that can give you some kind of tingling sensation? Do you think there's something that's going to actually be um, attached to some kind of neuro neurological uh, thing where you actually feel sensation that you're actually in a virtual reality, but you're not physically contacting that person. Well, I'm not sure because I, I I don't know about. Or is it? Do you think it's just going to be a visual thing? Like you can. From what I was told, it's more visual, unless they make some kind of apparatus to help you do the other stimulation as far as in with your you know obviously your penis and uh, things of that nature. But I I I I, I don't know. I wonder if they'll have like some kind of stimulating cock ring or whatever connected to. They may have one way. already, bro. They may have one when you know you get bumped into it, something or whatever, like in the VR. Somebody's bumping you, all of a sudden you feel your dick get bumped or something, or or you know squeezed or something. It'll start throbbing or something. I, I'd be interested to see exactly how that's actually going to work in this future. I mean, I, I can see it going there. I mean, you saw Ready Player One with all yeah. the avatars and stuff, but exactly. Yeah, I, I would definitely be interested to see how they actually plan to make virtual reality sex a reality, if that makes sense. Like right now, man, you look at all the movies that come out now and all the shows that come out, you know, even during the sexual parts of, of the movie and the futuristic stuff they have going, going out right now. It's going to happen. If it's not out now, 
we may not know about it here in America, but as far as in Japan, China, wherever it could be at, I'm sure I'm sure this is available somewhere. Without without question, I'm sure it is. Right, I'm sure it is. So that, that's that, that's the part I'm curious about. Do you know what Super Bowl was played in 2009? Can you remember? Uh, 2009. That was a long time ago. Uh, actually, right. I mean, I mean, um, I, I, I might be able to look it up, but I, I'm just curious if you happen to know what uh, Super Bowl was in 2009. I'm going to say it was uh, the Steelers and 2009. Who was the uh, NFC team? You think it was the Steelers? I think it was Steelers and somebody else. Obviously, wow! It was the Steelers and somebody else. No, I'm actually fucking impressed. Yeah, it it, it, it was the Steelers against the Cardinals. Okay, I guess Kurt Warner. He was a quarterback for the Cardinals. Was it Kurt Warner? I don't yeah. know. I, I'm actually impressed that you actually and that was apparently that was here in Tampa. Yes. Wow. Interesting. Kurt Warner was a quarterback for the Cardinals. The Cardinals. Let me see. Let's yeah, see it was being obviously. For the uh no, you are right. The Steelers won. The Steelers won 27-23. That was his first Super Bowl or second Super Bowl. He won two Super Bowls. Oh, I don't know. But I, I I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually impressed that you actually were pretty much on cue with that. Yeah. That's a weird <laughs> question. Yeah. No, well, the the reason why I'm asking is because apparently during that Super Bowl, there was 37 seconds of porn aired. I did not see that. I thought I thought the worst thing was Janet Jackson's titty popping out, but apparently there was 37 seconds Comcast aired of porn accidentally during that Super Bowl. Are you serious? <laughs> apparently I missed it, uh, and apparently it wasn't a big conversation because I this is it's on the list, but nobody's talked about it. So apparently somebody in some states, wherever Comcast is actually broadcasting, is actually got to see 37 seconds of porn. That's a, and think about it. That is a long time. Think about a 30 second commercial. Think about having 37 seconds of porn delivered to you on like, the Super Bowl Sunday. Like, hold your breath. Hold your breath for 30, 37 seconds. That's a long time. Hold your breath. <laughs> Begin. Yeah. yeah. And that's funny because I'm thinking. Like I said, it, the only thing I remember, the biggest thing that came close to any type of sex was Janet Jackson said, and it wasn't even sex. It was just a titty. It was just a titty. It was an accident. It was an accident. Quote, unquote. Well, quote, this was yeah. probably obviously an accident, but this was 37, 37. Somebody got well, fired. Somebody I, got fired. Time out. You say it was an accident. It probably was not an accident. A disgruntled employee going after. Very possible. Saying, fuck y'all, and I'm, I'm going to do this. I wonder, streamed it off his phone, possibly. So, again, another mistakenly aired porn time, but this one was for 10 minutes in Syria in 2013 on a national news TV broadcast. Whoa. 10 minutes of porn. I don't plan on going to Syria, but I mean... Okay, but, but still, like, how do I you not know. know in your control room that porn is being aired to your folks? I mean, like, right now, with me doing the video here, I can actually see ahead of time what camera's going to be popping up. Like, right now, there's only two cameras, right? But I can see how this camera's being displayed and what's being broadcast. Well, back out, you, you said... uh. What country again was that? Syria. So what's the question again? There was no questions. Exactly. This, <laughs> I'm just saying, just exactly. a fact that, yeah, 10 minutes. Interesting, right? Yeah, that is a long time. But like I said, these are all legitimately crazy porn facts that actually exist. Another one here is during a school meeting in Northern Ireland, a priest accidentally wow. showed X-rated photos to a group of parents. <laughs> <laughs> Whose photo is it? What is it? <laughs> of him or the kids? <laughs> Good girl. So, okay, so let's think about this. We're, we're, we're talking Northern Ireland, so obviously Irish Catholic. So, again, the Catholics getting a, another bad fucking rap with yeah. sex and, and porn and a fucking priest showing <laughs> 10 minutes of fucking, or not, excuse me, not 10 minutes, but no, he just happened to show X rated photos to a group of parents. It wasn't 10 minutes, but he just showed photos. So, the fact that he maybe had it on his phone. Maybe he was sending it to some of the nuns. So why would you have this <laughs> but <laughs> available? Now, the, the bad part is about this is photos of who? It, Himself or some kids? 
Uh, let's let's just let's just hope that that's they were adult bad. photos because if they were of the little kids, I'm pretty sure that's that what would, I'm saying. That would have been that's what, that's made that's more headline. Probably so. And <laughs> okay. what year, what year was that? Uh it doesn't didn't say a year. Uh, no, it didn't say a year. It was just said that he was later asked to take a sabbatical from his priesthood. <laughs> okay. Just, so just asking, just asking. You know, let's think about that though. You you take an oath to the Lord, but yet every adult is going to have urges. So obviously, even though you're you're supposed to be what celibate if you're a priest, you're a yeah. father. I mean, obviously, you're going to go mad, right? You're going to you, the shit's going to hurt if you don't rub one out or whatever. So obviously, you're going to want to watch something. Maybe maybe you watch a nun bending over in the garden or something, <laughs> and, and you see the, the little. Their, their knickers hanging out the side because obviously if you know the nuns ain't wearing thongs so they're what okay. they're knickers that's what i'm saying knickers <laughs> that again for, sir I, know, I get what you're trying to say motherfucker okay. but it's not just checking. anyways just checking. <laughs> anyways maybe he got excited seeing the nun and you know wants to rub one out but there's no way that every person of the cloth is perfectly a saint because you know, everyone's got to have needs. Everyone's going to have their some type of need. I'm sure it is. It's 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 unhealthy if you don't ejaculate at, after after so long. But so, you you chose to do that. Yeah, but you also life. choose to go ahead and jack off at least in the corner or something too. Well, I mean, you choose to do things in your life, and you have to live with those things in your life. No, nope. whatever they may be, unfortunately. So, how about in France, a preschool teacher thought she was clicking on a cartoon when she inadvertently clicked on hardcore porn. Not realizing her mistake, she left the room before the clip began and the film played for several minutes. (laughs) So, those kids saw... So, little little Johnny and little Pam got an introduction to doggy style and getting slapped across the face with a schlong at fucking preschool. Was it a black guy? They don't give, it doesn't give race. It That's, just says, I was just saying, if it's a black guy, it's a snake. <laughs> That's <a> snake. <laughs> you always happen to assume that the black guys are going to have the long anacondas. We well, already had this discussion before. That either the is. anaconda or the big balls. Yeah, okay. As we talked about before. Right, okay, sure. The size of the porn industry worldwide is how much? The porn industry worldwide. Worldwide. How much? I'm pretty good at this stuff, guessing numbers. What what number am I trying to guess? You know, revenue is money wise. Money wise per year. The size of the porn industry worldwide is how much? Money wise. I'm going to say at least three billion. How much? Three billion. Hmm. This it's probably too low. You might want to go up a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to say 15 billion. You better times that by 10, though. Are you shitting me? A hundred billion. Are dollars. you shitting me? A hundred billion? A hundred billion. And 10 and 20 billion of that comes from the United States. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Billion with the B and a hundred in front of that. Us here is 10, 10 billion. 10 billion in the States, 10 to 12 billion coming from the States. Wow. It's 10% of the porn's revenue coming from the States. So, I mean, there's a lot of porn around the world, though. So, it, Americans aren't the only ones that are freaks. We're, so. we're more so as far as, uh, I think we're more, uh, how can I say, I guess casual porn here. What do you mean casual porn? Meaning like we, we're not too rough besides the porn, some porn I see. I don't know, man. Have you, have you watched some like, of these kinky fetishes? Crazy stuff? stuff porn like across the water. It's crazy, crazy porn like choking bitches. <laughs> shit like that you know what I'm saying okay that's more fetish type stuff to me but that's cool I'm not trying to choke nobody we've had discussions before where uh, if you've had videos from prior relationships uh, and and so what and, and what not um, of porn videos like homemade videos and stuff yeah and we all know that people get upset people when, when breakups happen you know there's a lot of uh, angry stuff a lot of angry things are said and sometimes those videos are used as revenge. I've never had to go through it. I've never, I mean, I've got my videos 
from a lot of my exes that, you know, that stay stored away on hard drives that are, are, you know, hidden. But I've never used any of them for any type of revenge. Apparently, porn revenge is larger than all professional basketball, baseball, and football franchises combined. Really? Yeah. That's pretty fucking significant that's a lot of revenge it, it is because i mean i'm thinking because you gotta think about it. i mean you're you're paying somebody you're probably paying off somebody to take things off i mean even though a lot of these sites aren't supposed to or aren't airing these sites Correct. unless there's a release but there's still loop i mean look at the whole pam and tom lee thing they got leaked and stuff right their video yeah. <clears throat> right so to have somebody just literally hold this revenge over you and blast this out. Obviously, it's it's the payout so much more just to get that off. What, it's what ridiculous. Can, what can you do? I mean, you, you have a video that... <sighs> and, and that is and that is a very hard thing. I mean, think about it. I mean, once once the internet has a hold of something, you, as, as much as you try, right, it's done. It, it, it really is. There's no... They there's, can take it down, but how much is going to cost you to take it? Half it? It's going to be stored on servers, especially now with the cloud. It's it's definitely going to be stored. They have it somewhere. How much do you think porn stars make per movie? The guys or the girls? Both. I'll give the guy or girls uh, per year? No, no, no. Per shoot. Per shoot. Per shoot. Per shoot. Okay, that makes a difference. Now, I'm getting technical now, right now. Oh, oh, you're getting technical now. Okay. Is there penetration or no penetration? Bitch, it says purse. Just the scene. Just, just give me just just give me I'm a number. Saying, what do you think these motherfuckers are making I'm, to fuck? Basically, got, how got, much are they getting paid to, to fuck? A good answer. A good to a good question. To fuck thirty five to forty Gs. Okay, let All me. Right. You might you might want to go ahead and drink up a little bit because that's low. Dog, you are overshooting. You are that's too much. What do you think they filming an episode of Friends? Oh, I mean, well, time out. That's, <laughs> shit. What do you think they film it? This is porn we talk about. Yeah, it's a big business industry, but the people who are producing the films are making the money. 10 Gs? No. Less than that? $150, dog. The men are making $150 per scene. The women make between $600 to $1,000 per scene. Now, you say per scene, so they may have they may have per scene meaning movies like you. Per yeah, they, they may have five scenes in the movie. You know what I'm saying? But you know, and and I guess I, I'm curious if there's actually royalties. Like you know, do they get royalties off these movies, or is it this is this is it? Know. They're getting fucked for sure. Like literally getting fucked over. Yeah, like, this is this is what will pay you. And wait a minute, why is the guy only the guy only getting paid only 150 dollars? That's what I'm saying. Why we get shot? See, That's what I'm see. Saying. Women want these equal rights. We need equal rights too in the porn industry. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, granted, I'm fucking you, but still, bro. I, I need uh, equal rights in the porn industry. If you want equal rights and equal pay in the corporate America, god damn it, give us equal pay in porn. I mean, the dudes are the ones causing the great scenes, right? Got to have the dick to make the girls scream and moan and well, all that stuff, right? We make the scene, but the girls, what? Is yeah, ready. I get it. I mean, I you get it. Saying? You got to have the sexy girl, right? Yeah, but still. Should be equal pay. That's a big fucking difference. That's pretty big. No, I can see why the WNBA is pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> or I can see why what's her name? Uh Renfro from the damn, you know, uh the, the soccer team. The, the soccer team getting all pissed off one. Actually, I heard they're getting now equal pay with the, the US soccer teams. But either way, I can see why they're getting upset. Yeah, God yeah. damn it, we need to get some males to get paid equally here for some porn. That's a different conversation for a different day. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a different conversation for a different day. And so with that that hundred billion dollar um, number previously, um, obviously that porn revenue is more revenue combined than ABC, CBS, and NBC combined. Bullshit! Because ABC owns Disney and owns uh, ESPN. The stats is that six point two billion dollar revenue between those three corporations. Between three. This is not saying Disney. This is just saying the ABC network, CBS, and NBC. So, so it's not counting the money that, okay, so on their own. Just the network itself. That's what they're getting. Right. So, but, think, but look how much, look how much of a difference that is. We're talking about a hundred billion <coughs> compared to six point two billion dollars. So what that tells me is that more people care about porn than the fucking news 
or what's going on in the world. Like everyone would rather be being happy while people are fucking compared to what's who's getting bombed in across the country. That's crazy, man. That that's that is extremely crazy. Extremely crazy. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Like I said, this this list is just of facts. It's just fascinating to me. Just how much, how dirty really people are. It, like everyone wants to play a priest. Obviously, a priest is not as clean as we we expect. But correct. Yeah. So twelve percent of websites on the internet are pornographic. That's kind of high. Twelve percent. That's well, twelve percent. And you can think about how many Compared billion, to- how many billions of websites are out there. That's what I'm saying. Compared to businesses, websites, and yeah. other websites, 12% is pretty freaking high. That's really high. Yeah. And then around 70% of men aged 18 to 24 visit porn sites in a typical month. I can believe that. Uh, see, this this next fact, I don't even know if I want to read this one because that one disturbed. This is rather disturbing. <laughs> yeah. No, read it. No, no, no. It's, it's, it really is. It's kind of, a, it's kind of disturbing. But... Uh, Read it. It's what puts people in jail. Child pornography generates around three billion annually. Child pornography, like child pornography. See, that's kind of disturbing to me to think that we have that many people and, and, and the reason wanting to it just that that right there kind of upsets me a little bit to see that that number well, is that high in tw- child pornography. The question I have, and we're not going to go into it too much, but how you find? How do you find? I don't know. I I, I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. I mean, I'm pretty I, sure. I don't want to know. I'm pretty sure I'm if you saying, Google anything, you can find it. But how do you even find it? Yeah, well, that, that's okay. So every every uh, every second, porn is making three thousand dollars online. Mm. So we should do this show. Up, make this up. Let me t- let me tell you. It, so just reading some of these stats and numbers. Maybe we should do uh, whiskey in the censor goes porn. <laughs> I'm mean, I mean, no, just saying, if, if we're gonna make at least three thousand dollars a second, we do the show for an hour. Falling right now, right? We, yeah, we porn. <laughs> just make the show porn, right? Big them out. <laughs> Why not? Uh, nearly two point five billion emails per day are pornographic. That's a lot. I'm gonna say, I. I guess I guess those type of emails I have going to spam. I guess Yahoo, uh, what's the other one? Gmail. They kind of go. They're really working overtime because I don't get a lot of these emails. So they must automatically get picked up and go to spam or junk or whatever because I don't get none of these porn. No, well, funny guys. I'll, I'll tell you this now. Do you subscribe to porn emails? No, most of you oh, guys. I thought I was going to say, are you it's a old subscriber? School. It's old school. This old school man. I have a Juno account still. Juno. Yeah. Okay. Juno, that's old school. I know what Juno is. It's, it's like the same thing around the time frame of uh, AOL. Yeah. yeah. I, I Juno email. So if someone comes to my house or it's junk, <laughs> it is junk. You, you're giving the old email. I get okay. the old Juno email. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's actually, I, I, I mean, I still, that's, I that's actually check smart. It. I mean, I still check it, but. So it's still delete. active then? Yeah. I still check it. Interesting. I, I delete, delete email. Okay. Juno.com. Juno, you want to give it out to the world? Send you out nice personal little yes, email. It's a, a W I L L I Y, the number two at Juno.com. <laughs> is that is that real? That's that, real. <laughs> so you're gonna give out your personal That's or your real. your junk email? W I L L I Y, the the number two at Juno.com. So send me all your emails you want. I'll delete them and won't read them. Oh, how many? Uh, I got Juno, I got Yahoo. I won't check those two. Now my Gmail, that's my business email. I won't give that out because I use that one. What kind of business you got going on? Well, not business, but like important stuff. I'm saying what kind of business you really have? Like bank accounts and uh, my big baller. So. Oh, okay. Let you know. So, how many porn sites do you believe there is? In porn sites, porn sites, sites on the web. That's gonna be a big number. I'm gonna say at least the uh, porn sites. Porn sites, brother. I'll say forty five thousand. That's probably low. <laughs> Let's think about this. <laughs> That's pretty too low. That's too low. Oh, yeah. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, porn sites. Porn sites. I mean, obviously, you know the main few, right? So you just everyone knows That's the the top, right? Pornhub being. 
Pornhub being the king of of all websites, right? One point five million. One point five million. Yeah. How about forty two million? What? There are forty two million porn sites out there. How you find? How, how do you find your sites? <laughs> how you find them? So you probably have some lonely guy out there doing running a query that probably has porn and it, it's probably accumulating. But that that's a lot of fucking websites returned back. And that's probably right. and that's probably how many have been crawled through by Google. <laughs> Google has spent a lot of days. Because <laughs> I know Google actually has like jobs and stuff for people to actually decipher a lot of images and codes and stuff like that to help, you know, with their whole um, searches and stuff. But 42 million 42 million porn websites. Wow. Across the world or just here? It, no, it just it just is on it, just websites. It's, it's just websites wow. in general, so that could be wherever. Wow. How, how do you find free porn anyway? What? How do you find free porn? Like, I, I mean... Free porn is everywhere, dog. You just go to ever, whatever page you want to go to, you know. I, I'm nervous about getting embarrassed on my fucking c- computer. That's why you need a Mac. Mac protects you quite well against any type of... I'm not buying a, a, a $5,000 computer. Yeah, these computers, these MacBooks ain't 5000 I mean, if you go out and spec them out, yeah, but you can actually get a, a even a refurbished one. You can get about $1,000. Not refurbished. I'm trying to get a, a new Mac. Well, you're going to get I'm a new a, one. You're going to run about 2000 right? And, and that's, almost, right. that's almost about a base model. I mean, but that's yeah. So, yeah, if you, get, get you a Mac and get you, on, get you a, uh, onto some porn sites, dog. You, you, you'd be amazed at how, <laughs> how protected you'll be with a Mac getting onto somebody's porn. Because I've hit a few sites before, like, oh, 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 got to back out because it'll let you know that, hey, this ain't, this ain't the right shit you want. So let's back you out. And, it, okay. and you go check your router stats and you'll see what's been blocked and stuff. But the Mac does a very good job Allowing uh, attacks to come to your computer. So now is that your work computer? No, no, fucking work ain't gonna give me no Mac. They'll give they give a few people Macs, but we get fucking Dells or something that we get. Dells okay. I, I've been riding right. Dell for a while. Dells okay. If you're a Bobby one Dell, most of shit. <laughs> I like Dells. I mean, the Dells are okay, but you know, Macs Macs are the way to go. So Macs are definitely what you want. So I'm going to scroll through some of these, some of these, a lot of these are starting to become very lengthy facts. So, you know, for time's sake, we're not going to scroll through them. We're looking for the quick, easy stuff. In North Korea and Iran, producing and distributing porn, punishable by death. Mm. You ain't making porn in North Korea. Jim John un or whatever the hell. Uh, Sing, Sing John Yoon? Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's going to kill your ass for making porn. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill you. That's punishable mm-hmm. by death, man. And then Iran. Iran. That's ir- that's ironic. Uh, I've been to Iraq, but not Iran. You didn't, and run. You ran. Yeah, I ran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, punishable by death. That would suck, like, because I actually, and there's another uh, interesting topic that I came across while, you know, doing some research here as well, is some of the crazy laws that are still in place laws that are still in place in a lot of states in regards to porn states or countries states like here in the united states depending on where, depending on where we get with some of this list we I, I either i wanted to save it for another podcast because it'd be a good one because each state has its own taboos and what's against the law in certain states well florida's uh, wide open so it doesn't matter here believe it or not there florida has a lot of fucking rules or laws that it's against law that we would have never thought and we were like and when once we go through some of those lists we're like holy fuck really oh yeah dude like i said um like i'm not sure if we'll get into it today because i i rather keep this one just more of the uh the porn facts just kind of going through because i found this like i said i found this list very interesting but uh but yeah, some of the state laws, like some of these crazy, it's like even if you Google some of the crazy sex laws and state stuff, you're like, what? This people are, you can't do this. Well, you know what? It's funny you say that because I I, I believe that that is that's a true statement you're saying now. There are some laws that we have that are weird, which is you can't enforce those laws because the you're not gonna be in, in the person's house to enforce those laws. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, sure. certain things, you sure. positions, toys and stuff of that nature. It's funny you say toys because uh, 
I, I don't want to get into it because, like I said, I, that would it's yes. gonna be it's gonna be another e- great episode podcast that we would be together because so like, you're gonna be like, oh, what? But there is a state that you're not allowed to have sex toys. That it is illegal to have sex toys. But again, we will come back to that. It, it'll be, definitely be a good episode to get into. See? Um, I, I know I know a little bit about about some stuff. So I'm just saying. So okay, it's a little weird. Who do you think's the richest porn star? The richest porn star. The richest mm-hmm. porn star. Because obviously, you, you, you got to hide your favorites, right? So you got to know some of your porn stars. On my head, I'm going to say Jenna Jameson. Bingo. Is she? She is the richest is porn she? star. Oh, wow. Jenna okay. Jameson. Yeah, is that's my go to. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I guess I I watched a few of her her uh, videos and stuff. I I mean, I just figured she was just a typical blonde, but yeah, she. Uh, I'm going to say Jenna. You know, she doesn't do a lot of public appearances. I mean, uh, she's retired now, obviously. She, yeah. doesn't, she doesn't do anything. But, yeah, she was the is the richest porn star in the industry. That's a good guess, right? It? it was a very good guess because... Uh, well, not a guess. It's a knowledge. And I guess, I mean, I guess she's so well known that, obviously, the name would probably be the first thing that pops. Because other than her, I don't think I know any porn stars by name. Like, you have a... Is that Mila Khalifa or whatever? She's not a porn star, right? Or she was just one of those internet sensations that did some things and yeah she does no she re, i think she actually regrets doing what she did because she didn't want the popularity that she got doing what she did because i think jenna was a was she a, a bunny at one point in time in her life a label bunny i thought i don't know i gotta be wrong about that i don't know that may have been true i don't know let me see oh uh, let's see was but we have a couple videos of her at home i seen those in a while Pop them out. Uh, let's see. Was Jenna Jameson a Playboy boy? And let's see what the old Google says. The Google, the face chat, chat box. Mm, it doesn't look like. Uh, I don't think she was. I, I, let me see. Well, no, I'm, I'm still looking here. Let's see. No, nope, yeah, former Playboy model Jenna Jameson calls out Playboy for introducing their first transgender, transgender playmate. So okay. yeah, so okay. she. I, I, I a, thought she was. Long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, Before porn, obviously. I didn't know she was in Playboy. But like I said, her name is the only name that I would actually know in the porn industry. And then um, as far as dudes, the only name that comes to mind... No dudes at all. Ron Jeremy is the only name that I can think well, of. Or, or, and then that guy... Uh, that guy. Uh, not the, uh, I'm thinking of this, the white guy. Um Pete, the bad guy? Pete Howard or something like that. Something good. Knight or something. I don't know. I, it, he was in the old school like porn movies that this is the guy I'm talking about too. Alex Hammer. Something Hammer. Alex I Hammer. Think. Get the hammer on. He was something like his dick was like fucking 12 inches long. So the something. Guinness Book of World Records the biggest dick is only 13.5 inches. I said 12. I'm just saying. But yeah. Who wants a dick in, the, in their ass? <laughs> 12 inches. No, no, there might be some girls that want that That's 12 inch. too much, that, bro. That 12 inch dick, though. No, it's, no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so here's a great, here's a, another great stat. A survey of Hilton, Marriott, Sheraton, and the Hyatt hotels found that almost 70% of their room service profits come from porn movies. Really? <laughs> Yeah, That's a lot. I mean, you go on a business trip. I guess you want to go ahead and uh, if you're not getting lucky down at the hotel bar or whatever on that business trip, you're going back upstairs to rent you a porn movie. Well, so, he went to the raw hotel. He should have. They should have went to the uh, what's the one that uh, NBC Suites have a happy hour. They do free up to like seven o'clock. You probably should go there instead of the Hilton. Yeah, but it's always That's not. Uh, it's always not packed out. It just depends on what businesses or corporations are out there. Free drinks. I'll take that all day. But obviously, it's certain drinks, right? It's not your top of your line type shit. It was, no. Well, from what I remember, it was like Budweiser, Bud Light. I think Miller was on there. And then a couple of wines for the ladies and a you have few a, liquor shit no, options, you, little whiskey options. It's okay. It's free. Yeah. I guess free is free. I guess you can't. Free is for me. Yes. But either way, so the, at the night's end or whatever, maybe after a long day of work that um, these hotels are making the money on porn. 
and you would think that they're making their money on renting their rooms. They're probably making more money on porn than renting that damn fucking room. Well, what's so funny? Because I've been to several hotels. I, I I never looked for porn, but how do you find the porn on the hotel TV? Um, just through the menu. I mean, I don't know, but I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, you don't know. Just saying. Right. Usually through the menus, you can go through like you know movies, TVs, porn. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I it, it's an option, dog. It's just it's right there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is. It, it's it's readily available for you, and it, it just a click of a button, it, and and you don't have to get age verified. I don't think you just click a button. No, you may have the age. Verified. You're you have to be at least what twenty one or twenty five to rent a room, something like that. So obviously, they're going to assume the person who's in or renting the room for the night is of age, so they're not going to question everything. So why would they? I could be twenty five. You said 25 to get a room? I don't know. It's 25, was it? I know it's 25 to rent a car, right? So maybe tw- maybe 21. I don't know. Can you rent a room at 18? So I, I, I know my ass was in renting a room at 18 years old. So I can buy a gun at 21. Mm. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, <laughs> a little sideways, huh? Little sideways. Yeah, I mean, this. Just you, you can't drink in the military until you're 21, but yet you can serve your country at 18. That, yeah. That's I right. mean, that's what I got in trouble for underage drinking. So, that's but right. we won't talk about that. Yeah. That's, that's a right. whole other fucking story, you know? <laughs> that's right, right? Yeah. Anyway. The $3.2 million film 3D Sex and Zen Extreme Ecstasy is billed as the world's first 3D porn film. So I kind of wonder if that's almost close and uh, relative to what you were referring to as the VR porn. How different is VR porn and 3D porn? Well, I want to do VR porn. I, I've, I've heard about this today. Uh, from a buddy of mine, and uh, it seems pretty cool. Like he he says, you you you're there. You have to have the ocu- Oculus I, ga- glasses or whatever you use. I do well. I you know, <laughs> I have put on those Oculus things. Um, Did you get t- t- Tiffany's boy actually has those Oculus, and I tried it on, and he let me play some game. First, it was the first game I tried was. Uh, it was some kind of rec room type deal. Like you're in a, you're like in a rec room playing basketball and doing whatever. And it was really weird. And then it, I switched out to another game and it was like a roller coaster type game. Like really like looking around. Like every time you looked around, you could see just everything. I did get nauseous. Yeah. And, I, and I don't get nauseous on roller coaster rides or anything like that. But for some reason, I'm not sure what it was. Like I had to take off the headset because I'm like, not feeling very good. Like it just made me feel very, very, very weird. So I, so maybe VR porn might not be a good thing. I might get a little well, nauseous and yak up on, on on the VR hoe. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what you're, what the, the porn you're looking at. Cause I, I'm assuming the, the the VR porn you put it on, and the, you're the guy having sex with the girl, and you might be okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're behind. Yeah, her. but uh, I mean, you could have the ones where they're probably just giving you head, right? You're looking down and you just see yeah. her head bopping back and forth. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's kinda, yeah. you're not, I mean, I, it's whatever. Like I said, I, I need to see this before I can actually make my full judgment. I, I, I'd be curious. And then I'm like, oh, no, this is going to get me fucking nauseous. Just the whole motion. Because, I mean, Maybe doggy style. You get into a doggy style position and you're going and you're moving. And the next thing you know, your head's just bobbing away. And the next thing you know, that whole maybe maybe we're getting too old for this shit. Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe the vertigo comes in at this age, right? We're too old for this fucking VR porn. We're not, we're not built for this. So that's possible too. Uh let's see. So uh let's see. The average age of the first. Internet porn exposure. Oh wait, let's, let me read that again. The average age of first internet porn exposure is what? How old do you think average age? Yes. How old do you think the first person is actually first time you're exposed to porn? Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. That's actually a, a, a very close number. Actually, it's a thirteen. I would have said about fourteen, but myself, fifteen, maybe right around that age. But it's actually eleven. Eleven. Okay. 11 years That's old, fair. sneaking in, getting some porn. So That's fair. Most most boys, 
I would say about that's that's about right. No, that depends on the parents. And what do you mean depends on the parents? I guess well, they, I, if they got Playboy I, magazines later on the house. Yeah. Now these nobody they, nobody has Playboy. I don't. Uh, I don't even think they're still distributing Playboy magazines anymore. I don't know. I think they had their website, but I think they stopped the publication of Playboy. But the way the the world is now, I'm gonna say you said New Orleans. No, the way the world is, uh, the, the world, the, 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 the world, the world. I swear to God, you said New Orleans. It's younger than that. I'm gonna say it's like nine. I'll say about nine. Cell phones. Everybody has a cell phone now. Young kids got cell phones now. So it could be younger than. Are you gonna give your your kid a phone when she asks for it when she's, or how old is your kid now? Six, seven. She's six. Six. So when she gets to let's say seven or eight, maybe nine, she said, "Daddy, I want a phone. What are you gonna do?" She probably get one. She probably get one. You're gonna spoil your kid with a phone already. She, no, I'll back up. Now because we know. Well, we've had discussion like I didn't get my first cell phone until I was 21, right? So. And maybe I'm hating on some of these kids that get these phones so damn early now. I'm like, fuck, I didn't get one until I was 21. Well, I can literally go buy beer and then I can maybe go watch porn on my phone. And, and at that point, it wasn't even that. The only thing you were watching is that game Snake, the little snake game on your yeah. phone. These kids are getting porn. Fucking Man, she had a se- she had a cell phone two years ago. But but turned on. Oh well. Exactly. Yeah, these, these, these kids lasting. Is a flip or phone. starting so early is ridiculous. What I might do, take your flip phone. It's a real phone. I might turn it on and get it to myself. And get, get a flip phone? phone? Get a flip phone. You know, I, I've, actually, I, I, I've actually I've uh, actually thought about if I can survive going back to a flip phone. Um, it, you could. You could. But you think about how much you... Well, you don't do social media. Well, actually, you do. You say you don't, but your ass be sneaking on your I'm, wife's I'm account on. and be and be, and be yeah. trolling through your wife's account. So don't yeah. fucking tell me you don't be doing social media. I do that. You don't have your own, but you be scrolling through your wife's shit. I do. I do. So, but again, so you can't. You, you go to the bathroom. You go take a shit on the flip phone. What are you going to do? <laughs> you life's going to suck at this point. Like you know, at least now you go to the bathroom. You can. You got your phone. You could actually pretty watch. Pretty much watch. A baseball game, a football yeah. game, or whatever. Some porn. You could do whatever you need to do in, you know, in the bathroom. You go back to the old school. And like I said, I don't, I look at back as like I say I kid, but then I start thinking about, damn, how how would I actually handle going back to a flip phone? How about you take a shit without a phone? It's pretty easy to do. It, no, it's it's not the same anymore. Like I like the other day, I left my phone actually in the the actual uh, the living room and went to go to the bathroom. I sat there and looked at the damn wall like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now because uh, now I just got to focus on taking a shit or something. It just... That's good, right? Yeah, but the point Get is like, I'm literally looking Get at, out. I'm looking at the walls. I'm like, oh my God. I don't know what I need to do here. It's, uh, I'm bored. Like, do I just twiddle my fingers now? I mean, what do I do? So, but anyway, so yeah, that's that. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and get ready to wrap this up. But let's finish out on one more uh, interesting fact here. And that it is illegal in Australia to sell or rent X-rated materials. I come from land down under. Land down under. Anything down under, you are not allowed. It is illegal. So apparently some of those billions of dollars that the porn industry is making is not coming from Australia. So. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, again, like I said, I just thought. Hello, mate. I just thought this was an actual interesting list that, uh, you know, you find you happen to find about porn. I mean, maybe hopefully we enlighten some people about some porn facts, like a hundred billion dollars a year. Like, we knew it was a big business, but a hundred billion dollars. That is absolutely crazy how much that, that makes. Is and, more, that's more than some companies. Not some. A lot of And this companies. is a year. A, a year, year that these this porn industry is. A hundred billion dollars. That's they can basically wipe out all the debt needed 
yeah. within a few years poor. if they wanted to if they wanted to play nice. Just poor. Just poor. You know, who knew opening up them legs can save the world? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's think about it, right? Who knew that hoe can save the economic depression? Captain Save a Ho. Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> That's right, Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for us tonight. Well, I hope you guys appreciated this episode as much as we actually like going through it. And hopefully, depending on how this edit comes out, going through the video, and obviously, this is going to go out to the streaming platforms. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, please check us out on our socials, IG and Facebook, uh, whiskeyedanduncensored.com. This is going to be going up on YouTube at Whiskey and Uncensored. So go check us out. Give us a subscribe. We'd love to have you guys there. And anytime we post up new videos, this will be one to watch. As always, keep drinking your whiskeys, live your life, and we are out. See you guys.